I suppose all of us have given a good deal of consideration to unemployment. But there are one or two factors which I think have not generally been noticed. Factors which have come into being since the war. Rationalization, of which we've heard a great deal, has proceeded at a greater pace on the continent than it has in this country. One result has been the creation of large units in industry with the consequent cheapening of production and increase of output. This has been very marked and the question which lies before these countries is where that increased or surplus output is to be put. There is only one market in the world into which these surplus outputs can be dumped and that is ours. And the main problem before us if we wish to preserve our standard of living, if we wish to see our people employed, is to take steps to see that at any rate, the competition between our people and the people of foreign nations shall be competition on a fair basis and not competition with dumped goods. There is, however, one thing that you and I can do in our private capacity to help the trade of our own country. And that is to insist, wherever you go and whatever you buy, on having British homemade goods. And if you can't get them, get, if you can, goods made inside the British Empire. And only as a last resort, buy goods of foreign origin.